Hey everyone, thanks for joining me at my channel. This is going to be a review and install of Jamie Wig by Pretress Shake and Go. And yes, I have one to give away to one lucky winner. So the instructions will be in the description box down below. So check that out if you want this wig. Now this wig is very nice. It is hand tied and has an L-shaped lace front which will give you a natural look. When I show you the installation, you will see exactly how I blend this wig to make it look natural. The color I used is OP99J, and this is going to be the same color that I'm giving away. It's going to be exactly like mine, which is like a reddish color. Looks a little bit like fuchsia or pink, but it's beautiful anyway and really goes well with the season. I will make sure that I give this to you um, before Christmas so that you can have it for any parties or dinner. This is going to be a very flash giveaway, so enter as quickly as you can on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, I like this wig and I'm going to put this one away before I get tempted to open it. That won't be fair for whoever's getting it. Alright, so... This is what it looks like, the packaging, very nice packaging. And it gives you the hair care instructions. You can wash it, you can style it, you can heat style it um, between 380 degrees Fahrenheit and 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really, really good. I would love to see this wig in some Remy hair. Same layers, same style, same everything, but with Remy hair. Just because I know it will last longer. I'm a hairstylist and I touch hair a lot, different kinds of hair, and I know this wig won't last as long as I would want it to last. You know what I mean? So, if they could make this in a Remy hair, that would be awesome. It would be expensive, but it would be awesome. Alright, so this hair doesn't have too much shine in it. I like that, and I also like that I can play with it and do different little things with it, and you know... I really like that about it. It's very flowy, very bouncy, and yeah, it's great hair. You guys should get it. I'll have to ask Free Tress Shake and Go where you can buy this wig, and when they tell me, I'll post the link in the description box. But they have beauty supply stores online, Hair Stop and Shop, and um, Sam's Beauty. I go to Sam's Beauty a lot. I don't know if they have this. But I really, really like it, and I will definitely post a link in the description box for you guys to see if you want to know where to buy this wig. It doesn't have too much shine. I like that about this. It doesn't have the fakeness going on. Let me turn so you can see. You know, it doesn't look like plastic. And for opening it the first time, I have raked through this wig so much. By now it should have tangled, but no, nothing. I don't know what kind of fiber this is. Um, hmm. It doesn't say if it's Canicolon or Toyocolon or what kind of fiber it is, but whatever fiber they used is really, really good because it just hasn't tangled and I've had this wig on a little while. So I'm going to enjoy this wig for as long as it will let me and you guys definitely check out how I installed it and made the part look natural. I will see you enjoy this video. Alright, so I'm going to secure it all around with the pins and you want to put your pins inside the lace, not on the lace, like right there, okay? Because if you put them on the lace, you, you're going to have a hard time cutting the lace. All right, so this is the part of the wig and I'm going to grab my tweezers 
and see if this part is thin enough or thick enough for you you don't have to do this but I can see a few hairs and I'm just going to pluck some of those hairs I don't want out not too much just enough to make the part a little wider Once you've finished plucking the hair to your liking, you're going to get some liquid foundation or makeup. And just put one pump on the back of your hand. And I'm going to get a precision brush and just dab a little bit and put it on the part like that. Alright, I'm now going to use my eyeliner to blend it in and this is just a dark brown. I'm going to have to get this hair out of the way and then cut the lace. Alright, so grab the lace and start cutting. And you don't want to cut too much, you want to be careful not to cut the hair. And try as much as you can to use the point of your scissors and take your time as well. To make sure it blends with my real hair, I'm going to get a black liner and I am going to go across the hairline, the entire hairline and I'm just going to put a little bit on the lace itself and just the front of the lace. This is my natural part once I've installed the wig and I really like how it came out and that's the hairline on that side and hairline on this side. And this is the back. It's very nice. It's still new but you know you get the idea of the wig it's very nice if you like straight hair i kind of comb it to the back with my hands and then bring it forward and that's how i pretty much like to wear it i'm not using a mirror but i hope this is coming out right you guys <laughs> So this is it for this lace front review i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys buy this wig i don't know where you can buy this wig online but i will ask um free dress and i'll post a link in the description box down below so that you guys can know exactly where to get this beautiful beautiful lace front i will see you in the next video happy holidays bye